Under Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 19, compulsory joinder requires that parties necessary and indispensable to the litigation be joined if feasible. In Equal Employment Opportunity Commission v. Peabody Western Coal Company, the Ninth Circuit considered whether a case should proceed when joinder isn't feasible. Peabody Western mined coal from two Arizona mines at least from the Navajo Nation. Both leases included a Navajo employment preference provision that gave preference to Navajo job applicants. The Department of the Interior drafted the leases, required that the Navajo employment preference provisions were included, and approved both leases under the Indian Mineral Leasing Act. Lease amendments had to be approved by the Secretary of the Interior. If the lease was violated, the nation and the Secretary could cancel the leases after a notice and cure period. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission sued Peabody, claiming Peabody discriminated on the basis of national origin by implementing these provisions. Peabody moved for summary judgment and dismissal, saying the nation was a necessary and indispensable party. The motion was granted. The Commission appealed. The Ninth Circuit reversed and remanded because joinder of the nation was feasible under Rule 19. The Commission filed an amended complaint. The nation moved to dismiss, saying the Secretary was a necessary and indispensable party. The Court agreed. The Court converted the motion and granted summary judgment against the Commission, saying the Secretary was a necessary party, but joinder wasn't feasible. The Commission appealed. 